Hey guys, I have another tip for tripping in July. And this is more for if you are traveling alone with children and you don't have any help or assistance, you know, with driving or getting snacks or doing all this stuff. So here's what, here's two little quick tips that might help you out with your driving, or not driving, with your trip. Tip one, snacks for your kids. These are Fit and Active All Natural Strawberry Fruit Leathers. My kids love these. Is to pre-open them and put them in snack size Ziploc bags. I got 50 of these from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. This is weird. And they're the Brawny Essentials ones. So that way, you can put a few of them with your kids, either in their backpacks or in their little organizer thing in between their seat or something. And that way they can get to them. Another quick tip is, if they, empt if they eat all of them before you stop, do not pull over and give them any. My tip is just let them wait until you stop for gas or you have to go to the restroom or something and then they can have more snacks. The next tip is, my hands are getting tired. If you are traveling without, you know, somebody with you, like when my husband and I travel, kind of I'll explain how we do it. Um, sorry, I'm gonna see if I can put this on the tripod. My husband will take our son in to go potty. Now that he's potty trained. Sorry. Ah, having tripod difficulties. It's not perfectly even because it's on my bed. Um, but my husband ooh, will take my son in, take him potty, and then I will switch cartoons, get snacks, fill up drinks, do whatever needs to be done. And then when that's done, I will take my daughter in and go potty. I will both go potty and do whatever else we need to be doing. So that way it's quick and easy. We're in and out of that gas station. We're done and ready to go by the time he's back. But if it's just you traveling and being a woman, we have a purse and then we're gonna have a diaper bag if your kids are in diapers or a just an extra, I like to have an extra bag in case you know there's no toilet paper or things like that in the bathroom so what I do this is I used to do this with other little things so what I do is I get a clutch this is my new Bear Bradley ribbons pattern clutch it is awesome because I can fit my car keys my house keys cash ooh, there's even some change in there cash and my phone and cards all in this little thing and it's got a really nice clutch strap and it zips and there's an inside zipper pocket where I put my phone see the little inside zipper pocket that's where I put my phone that way I have it all in one place and I throw that and I this is what I have for my purse for just a car ride I do bring a purse with me I don't just use that the whole trip but then I have a really nice, sturdy, durable backpack that I use to have all the things we need to have that I normally would have in my tote bag that I normally use. But here I want a backpack because I want to have hands free as best as possible. This is a Swiss gear backpack that I got at the after school sale. It's got lots of little like side pockets and it's got you can put a laptop in here which I'll probably in the laptop part will probably be like my Kindle and my iPad. But I'm going to put, show you some of the things that I have in here and why I have them and why I think it's going to be really helpful if you are traveling by yourself. Not by yourself but you're the only other adult on the trip. So the first thing is new movies. Well, these are gonna not be in here. I'll talk about those later. The first thing is a package of baby wipes. Yes, I know my kids are potty trained, but these make great hands cleaner. Uh, clean, you know, clean your kids' hands, their faces. Um, clean off their sippy cups if they drop them on the ground. These 
are great. And I had some left over from when I, before my son got potty trained, I had some left over. My husband took some with, he takes these to the field. That's how he gets a bath, is with these baby wipes. And I always like to have some around. I usually just buy the generic brand. I like Target's generic brand. Um, Walmart's generic brand's fine too. Parents' Choice is great. But I usually buy these and I keep them around just because they're really good at cleaning kids' hands and faces and feet or whatever. The next thing, well, I have packages of tissues. These are those, you know, ones that stick together in a really thin package of tissues. These are just from Kleenex. Um, I have two packages of these in there. I also have some special auto packages of tissues that are easier to get out than these. These I just like to keep in this bag in case we have a sneeze or something in the car or if we're out. Next thing in this pocket right now is toddler wipes. These are flushable wipes. They're unopened. They are from Parents Choice. These are great if there's no toilet paper in the bathroom because usually when we go potty I go in the handicap stall with both of my kids because it's not safe usually. And this way if there's no toilet paper or something we have flushable wipes that are going to keep you know my kids clean and healthy. So that's it for that pocket. The next pocket has Um, mom stuff and kid stuff. Okay, so the first thing, this has got a few feminine things in it. I will show you one. I mean, you've all seen, anyone out there that's a girl seen pads, tampons, why, you know, liners and everything. Um, any men or husbands have seen it. But I like these always clean, dermatology tested and flushable wipes for the same purpose for me. If there's no toilet paper, I want to use something like this to keep myself clean if there's no toilet paper. So that's what's in this uh, little pouch right here. And all my pouches look different, that way I can tell what's in what. This pouch is my boo-boo pouch. It's got Neosporin, and it's got two kinds of Band-Aids. It has these Equate, Equate, Equate Band-Aids that are latex free, which is what my son has to use because he can't do latex. And then we have straight up Band-Aid brand Band-Aids. I'm hopefully I packed enough. I'm in this bag. I might pack some more. But these are just for if we get fall down in the parking lot and we get a boo-boo or something. It's quick and easy. I don't have to dig around in our medicine first aid kit that's in the car. Speaking up, always have an emergency kit in your car. Uh, mine has jumper cables, flares, has little reflective triangles, has all this stuff to keep us safe on the road if something bad were to happen. The next thing in this pocket is water bottle for me. Um, this is my OXO twist top bottle. It twists and so the straw, you know, stays clean. But I like it because it has a handle, little clippy thing. I can put a D-link on here and I can clip it to something or I can even use um, Velcro, those Velcro things that wrap up cords. I can use this in this. I take this and I take an insulated travel cup. That way when I'm traveling, my drinks that I put in here stay cooler longer than they would in this because it's not insulated. The last thing I have in the bag so far is another pouch. This is an old Clinique pouch that I got at a sale. What's in here is stuff for mom. I have a lens cleaning wipe in case I need to clean my nasty sunglasses if they're gross. I have another cleaning wipe. Um, Organized like Jen talks about this brand of cleaning wipes. I can't remember the name. Uh, lens cleaning wipes. I use these on my iPhone and on the GPS and on my sunglasses. I have a bottle of OptiFree Pure Moist contact solution travel size and I have a contact case. This way if something gets in my eye, in my eye or something when I'm in the bathroom I can clean my car. <coughs> I can clean my contact with this and um, yeah, I can clean my contacts with this, put it back in, I'm good to go. I will also have my actual extra contacts in this bag. That way um, I don't have to worry about 
if I would need a contact lens, you know, need one or something because something happened to my other one. So this will be what I'll be taking in the store or in like the gas station or whatever with me. That way I don't have to worry about um, not having everything and have to shove a bunch of stuff in my purse. And it's actually, it's a really comfortable bag to carry. Um, I need to adjust this other side of the strap. It's too long right now. But it's a really comfortable bag to carry. It's got really thick padding and it's just nice. And most of the time I would just throw it on one shoulder. I have both hands free to hold my children's hands. That way I make sure they don't get hit or anything in the parking lot. So that's my little travel tip for today. I'm so sorry that I haven't been filming, or I've been filming, but I haven't been uploading lately. I'm going to try to get some more, try to get this uploaded today and keep going with some things. And I'm going to try to figure out how to have things uploading while I am gone. I have never quite done that yet, so I'm not sure how to do it. But I'm hoping that maybe I'll get some help from you guys out on YouTube land and tell me how to do that or something. So I hope to see you guys later. Um, I'm going to try to put my Instagram on here so I can take some pictures as we travel on the trip. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.